governments who've come together. But what I'm most excited about is you, all of you sitting here. This young blood that is here. Because you are who's going to make the change happen. Like you are the future, right? I'm not just making this up just to make you feel good. Because I really believe that you are the ones who are going to make our future a better future. Now, why are we here? As we all assembled here for a rather unusual festival. Have you ever heard of a festival of buses? Like we've heard about festival of lights, we've heard about various kinds of like, you know, various kinds of festivals, right? But have you ever heard of a bus festival? Anyone? Anyone here? So that's what makes us very unique that we are actually celebrating buses. Buses are those unsung heroes that actually moves the city. Does anyone want to take a guess? How many people are transported daily on the buses in Bangalore? First of all, I would like to congratulate the Ramaya Institute of Management, particularly the um, Institute of Sustainability, who have chosen a great theme. Bus, bus for us. In fact, uh, generally students uh, are in the college festivals are generally permanent gala. But uh, as uh, Mrs. Shreyas has uh, mentioned, something unique they have done, and uh, they are living up to their name, sustainability. Okay, because Bangalore, you know, is one of the most beautiful cities in the country which has some of the best surroundings climate. Nowhere you will find such an air-conditioned city in India. In fact, uh, even in extreme winter also, we have not gone down below 13 degrees or 14 degrees. Even extreme summer also, generally we don't go beyond 36 degrees. So this is how our city is, one of the most beautiful city, so much, uh, so many gardens, so many lakes. Uh, but only the Philip side is uh, traffic. Traffic is the only uh, problem uh, because of, uh, there are so many reasons. And one of the reasons is uh, lack of adequate public transport. Generally, because of uh, lack of adequate public transport, people are forced to have their own vehicles, forced to travel in their cars at two wheelers. And secondly, the aspirations also play a very important role. Many times, when the purchase of vehicles are not linked to transportation or, or travel needs. It is aspirations and uh, ambitions. Many, I'm sure uh, all of you are above 18 years of age. And all of you want to have at least one motor bike, especially the male, the uh, boys they want one bike, at least one. And of course, the ladies students also, they need one two-wheeler. Their aspiration is that, to own a two-wheeler. 